Hello, welcome back to Watercolor Theory. Today I'll be going over this African elephant emerging from the dust, which is a redo of a previous painting that I enjoyed so much I thought I would do it again with a different color palette. Today I'll be going over five takeaways in under 10 minutes. Takeaway number one, starting with the focal point. Takeaway number two, using color temperature rather than value for contrast. Number three, hard and soft edges. Number four, monitor the splatter. Number five, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. So takeaway number one is also step number one, starting with the focal point. I put in a good solid line drawing, and now I'm starting with the focal point to lay in the colors that I want. And I did allow them to set up a little bit, not drawing 100%, but drawing a little bit before going back in with more color and then going in and doing the edges. And then as I progressed through the painting and got to the end, uh, it was much easier to go in and emerge the elephant from the fog, as the saying goes, bringing out the details that made the elephant stand out, giving that hard edge on the one side. Takeaway number two, using color temperature to create contrast. So in this grayscale of, or black and white, uh, of the painting, you can see that a lot of the values are the same where the elephant is. I converted this in Photoshop, just went from the photograph to grayscale. And then here are a couple arrows pointing to the hard edge and then the soft edge. And this really shows that color temperature can work just as much as value. Now, granted, if I did a darker blue background against this orange, it would pop out even more. But I don't, uh, the, the painting style is a little bit jarring. If I went overboard on my color palette, it might be uh, garish. So I think that this is a tasteful use of contrasting colors. Number three, already went over this, the hard and soft edges, bringing those edges out um, in key areas. Um, it's very subtle on the, uh, on the one side of the elephant. You can see it's, it's pretty subtle, it blends in, but then you've got over here, this hard edge that you can even see at a distance. So I'm, I'm very happy with the way that turned out, that, that that leading edge, it's leading in and you see, oh, there's an elephant. And then it kind of blends into the background as if it is emerging from the dust, albeit, you know, very vibrant colors. Number four, monitor the splatter. Um, I like in the other elephant, um, you can see it looks like all splatter to me, this, these few runs right here, if they looked more like that, like this side, uh, the runs seem to be a little bit distracting to me. So, uh, in hindsight, I wish I had lifted those up by blotting them and then gone back in and, and splattered it out. So it had less of a defined edge and more of an organic shape. Number five, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. So just not rushing, taking time, going back to step one, painting in the focal point, but not finishing the focal point, just laying it out, laying out the groundwork, and then going in with the splatter, um, moving slowly and deliberately through the process. I really didn't have a lot 
to do at the end of the painting to get the elephant to emerge from the fog. Now, if you look behind me, this uh, rhino and calf, that one I didn't take as much time on and I had to make some choices that um, had I been a little bit more deliberate, uh, that painting would have turned out a lot better. I, I like the painting. I, I grew to like the painting, but it, um, it had a few rough points and that video is coming out next. So that's it for this week. Those are my five takeaways in under 10 minutes. And I hope that you're getting some use out of these painting techniques. I do, uh, I, I started this process a while back to loosen up, but now it's become my style. And I really, I really feel that it's unique and, uh, it really enjoy and it's enjoyable. So, and also I've got some, uh, some links in the, um, in the description, I have a site, uh, it's just called watercolor.printify.me where I have coffee mugs, pajama pants, um, other printed goods, and it's all based on, on this art, um, that's up for sale. So you can get a nine by 12, um, printed on canvas or, um, the, the site is a work in progress currently, but, um, I'm really excited about rolling that out. And then I'm also excited about, uh, some future announcements about these, uh, paintings where they will be going to live. So thank you very much for tuning in. I can't uh, reveal where they're going quite yet, but uh, I hope to uh, be able to do that soon. So watch for more videos. I'm also going to release some shorts just going over the five takeaways in five minutes. Uh, YouTube appreciates shorts. And speaking of YouTube and appreciation, if you appreciate my content, please just hit the subscribe button down below. Really helps uh, get the word out to other people that have similar interests to you and helps grow the channel so that eventually I can possibly get either a sponsorship through a paint company or paper company or um, just YouTube algorithms. There are ways to monetize your channel with YouTube. And I, I'm not ashamed to say that, you know, I do would like to make an income in this. So uh, thanks again for, for tuning in and again, please subscribe. Thank you.